I hear the voice of another little boy. His voice cracking. He didn't even have a chance. I don't know nothing about Rome. I don't know nothing about taxes. But sir, sir, if there's something going on with your kids where you can't feed them, sir, if there's something going on with your family where you ain't got enough groceries, sir, it was in a crowd, in a mob, in a mass of people just like this one. 5,000 men plus their wives and their kids and their children. We had followed Jesus out into a wilderness because he was still trying to keep his ministry quiet. 5,000 men. We were in a wilderness. Sir, sir, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I don't know about Rome and all of that, but let me just tell you what happened on that day. We had gone out to hear Jesus preaching. That man on that donkey right there, we had gone out and followed him to listen to him preach and teach because there's some power in his words that I can't explain. I grew up in church, sir. My mama made me go to synagogue every week and there was something different about this man's preaching than any rabbi, any Pharisee or said I've ever heard. And I followed him into the wilderness with 5,000 men plus their women and children and there we sat all day long. And I was the only one who had brought something to eat because my mama made me. She told me to pack up a little. I had a couple fish, some bread. That was it. And in the middle of the day, disciples started walking through the crowd asking the question, does anybody have something to eat? Anybody have any food? Anybody have, maybe, I thought it was for Jesus. And so I said, yes, sir. I've got some fish. It's got some bread. And they took it to Jesus. I thought Jesus was going to eat it. I thought he was going to be like the other preachers in town. I thought he was going to be like the other rabbis in town. And he was going to be for him to eat. I thought he was going to be like the other high priest in the temple. This was going to be for him. But Jesus didn't eat that fish, sir. Let me tell you what I saw happen in the middle of that mob of people that day. He took that little bit that I had. He took the bread and he took the fish and he began to pray. And he began to bless it. And he began to distribute it and break it and give it out to his disciples. And the disciples started walking through the crowd. And sir, I was there that day. I'm an eyewitness to tell you that somehow he took a couple pieces of fish and a couple pieces of bread. And he multiplied it and he fed over 5,000 men plus women and children. And can I tell you at the end of the day, he came back with some leftovers. Sir, can I just tell you, I got some of those leftovers. Me and my mama ate fish and bread for days and days and days and days. Sir, don't, don't think I'm being disrespectful. But if you need anything, sir, I'm telling you that he, if you'll give it to him, he'll bless it, he'll multiply it, and he'll provide for you. He'll provide for you. He'll provide for you. He'll provide for you. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. And he's the same forevermore.